Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is uh, our first spring security demo. Okay, so I want to know uh, when we add the dependency spring security, what's gonna happen? Okay, now let's go to our IntelliJ. Okay, so here one we have to create a new project. Oh, not an open. Uh, I click the wrong. I click the wrong. Okay, we will start from scratch. Uh, first, we have to create a Spring Boot project. So here, Spring Boot. Okay, everything is uh, you can leave as a default. And uh, here, group. I will use my channel name. And the artifact. I will using Spring Security demo. Okay. And um, mm, I think we can leave as it is. Okay, if you want to change, you can change. Okay, and develop tour. Uh, so far, we just choose. We are gonna using Spring Web, and template. We are using Time Leaf, and uh, for the Spring Security, you can choose this one now. You can also not choose this one now. Okay, so we will choose. You can add it for later. So. And the version, uh, we can use 2.4.1 and you can choose a higher version uh, uh, as you want. Oh, actually, this one I haven't taken a look at. Okay, we are choosing this version 2.4.1. Okay, uh, next. And uh, here I have to change a little bit. Okay, sorry. Uh, documents. Do, 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 do. Choose the location you need. Okay, this is the one I'll put it here. And uh, Spring Security, Spring Security, I was using the demo. I named the package not in a good way. This is the package, and this is the my repository, and this is the project name. Okay, and I finish. Create. Why the uh, this thing? okay? It goes to my another screen, and here it is. We have to let it to download. Uh, this uh, no thanks. Okay, and it will download the kind of like a template of the project structure for us. Okay. And from Maven, we can see the dependencies we added. And uh, the one we have uh, Spring Security, right? 2.1. And uh, the one of Spring Security is, uh, uh, where's, where's my uh, Spring Security? 5.4.2. That's the latest version if we directly use a Spring Security uh, project. Okay. And this one is 5.4.2. That is the latest version. I checked. Uh, one week ago and uh, hope there is no uh, release okay in uh, the past week uh, so here 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 uh, this is uh, done okay uh, it's red is because those files are new to our repository we just added okay we didn't do anything so when this is a web application, when we don't do any coding, it is nothing gonna happen, right? So here we will write a, a simple uh, demo to do a testing, okay? So we will create a package. The package will go to controller, and we will create a very simple uh, controller, which is called the welcome controller. Okay, and uh, uh, don't ask again, cancel, we don't add. I will add eventually, check into my repository later. Controller, okay. And uh, in the controller, we will add a very simple method just to call public uh, string welcome. Okay, and uh, I will use get mapping and uh, using lots of them, okay. And here return. Uh, welcome this page okay and now I will go to the template to add this file HTML file welcome okay and uh, 
Welcome to Spring Security Playlist. This is our first demo, okay? And I will change the title to be Welcome. Okay, so that's the old code I wrote. I just have a simple controller and have a method for the root URL and have a welcome HTML, right? I didn't do any other things. But for the poem, I have a Spring Security, Time Leaf, Web. Uh, this one is uh, it's not necessary now, but uh, later on we will need to use that. This one is uh, for those tags, okay? And uh, uh, test actually not needed. If you want to, you can delete, okay? But if I delete, probably some errors gonna happen here. So I will leave it as it is now, okay? Okay, oh, control, oh, okay. Just do like this way, okay? And now let's uh, start our application. If uh, we know a little bit about Spring Boot to do the web application, when we start, it should display this welcome page, right? So let's start the application. Okay, okay, it starts and uh, uh, quit. Okay, <laughs> I'll quit first because uh, I my opened as a website, I don't want you guys to see. Okay, so localhost 8080, this is our home page. Dun, 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 dun. When we open our home page, go to slash. Okay. I, the URL tab is go to slash. It's supposed it should go to welcome, right? But uh, it goes to the login page. Why? It's because when we're using Spring Boot and Spring Security, once we add the Spring Security, the dependency, then Spring Security, the feature is automatically triggered. All the things is done automatically, okay? Which means when we add Spring Security, the dependency, and uh, the feature of uh, Spring Security is automatically triggered for us. Okay, so what's the username password? It has a default username and it has a default password. Default username is user, and default password is this one. Here, every time we start our application, it will generate a password for us. So when we use this one, and then we go here, password, sign in. You can see it, it goes to our uh, HTML file, right? Welcome to Spring Security. This is our first demo. So it goes inside. And it also has a built-in logout. We can log out. Log out, it will redirect. To, and when we type the username and the password, is something wrong? and it will have bad credentials. And all those features is automatically done for you when we add the Spring Security dependency. So now let me show you uh, if I remove Spring Security dependency. This one removed, and this one we remove, and we also remove the test one, okay. And after remove, let's uh, refresh, so make sure those uh, Spring security, okay, so here no spring security dependencies anymore, right? Then we can restart our uh, demo. Okay, see, another thing you can see here, we didn't see that uh, generated the long string, right? And we can go back to go to the localhost edit. Now you can see it directly go to our HTML page instead of the login page, right? So that's the first demo about our Spring Security. Once you add the Spring Security data starter, it will add those dependencies for you. One is the Spring Boot Start Security. The, uh, this one is used for provide the tags, which is the authentication and authorization tags you can use in HTML. And this one dependency is added for testing uh, Spring Security, okay? So 
this is our first demo. Okay, and uh, if you wonder, uh, wonder the the steps uh, in our slides, I also show you like uh, first you create a Spring Boot project, then you select a dependency. The dependency is a web time leaf and a Spring security. And then you can create a simple controller and also a very simple HTML. Okay, then you open the browser and uh, have a localhost 8080. Then you, you will see the Spring Security login logout feature it will automatically to be available for you to use. Okay, so uh, this is the our first demo okay and don't worry we will talk about um how the spring security uh, is being triggered and how can we customize the login page and the logout those things okay so thank you see you next time bye bye